We've come to GA Sliding Head in Dundee. They've got 26 star machines. Their oldest one is from 1989. I'm going to talk to Logan about what it was like learning on that machine and also how the machines have vastly improved to the brand new ones today. So I've been working here for 11 years um, with Sean, um, four years of which were an apprenticeship. Prime Group as a whole make oil and gas uh, components. We make subsea, aerospace, and also medical now. So I learned on an SR 1620 um, a long time ago now, 30, 30 year old. We bought the, the, the machine in 1989. Um, it's amazing how technology has advanced within the 11 years that I've worked under this roof. Um, and it's great to see um, the way that STAR have improved the insides of machines and all the work-ins. The technology has improved um, drastically. There is a lot of, the movement is a lot quicker and sleeker when it's transitioning from different tools, from cross-working to your platen to drilling atoms. Uh, the cycle time's improved a lot. Um, we've actually got a job that the cycle time went from three minutes down to one and a half minutes which is incredible, especially if you've got a large order, for example, a thousand components, you half that order, you half the, the man time at the machine, the unmanned runs, everything's just halved, which is absolutely incredible for something on a scale like this. Looking back to when I was an apprentice using an SR 1620 compared to now, the SR 1620 was very simple, it was basic, there wasn't as many tool holders um, compared to now, the machine is just incredible. The technology is advanced. We've got CNC, uh, NC star assist for programming now. We have uh, high frequency turning um, that helps chip down swarf instead of wrapping around the corner. It just chips and falls into the, the swarf bag. And now we're going to hear from Sean why they need star machines to make these parts. So we make a lot of pins in G-Engineering. Uh, it's mostly for the oil rig sector. So we make 20,000 a year. But I know the customer right now is wanting a lot more than that. So what we are trying to get more of is more SR20s in, so we can get more of this like, quantities going with this. So we're looking for 80,000, so we're kind of tripling what we're getting here. So we need a lot of machines to do that, really. So this pin that we're currently making, this is the first stop of it on this machine. Then it gets set away for gold plating as a second kind of op. And then it comes back to us again. And what we do there is we have to check for concentricity to make sure the hole is concentric. And then the final stage of that is to skim the gold off. So the most important part of this process is the very, very start, and it starts with the Mark IV SR20. Uh, if that's not correct at start, the concentricity will be out, everything else will be out on it at all. So they're all very tight on this, this job. So if they're incorrect at the start, when they all come back, it's going to be wrong. So at the very start of this job, if one's wrong, it could be 5,000 wrong. You just don't know, it could be 5, 10, 15. So when, at that point, it could be a lot of high, high value mistakes. And at that time, we've lost a lot of money. That's why we've got these stars. They're super reliable, they have so much capacity as well compared to the older machines. Uh, so in the future when we're buying star machines, it will be most of these machines that we buy. The advancing technology with the star machines is second to none since I've been here. From the 1620s when I first started to the SR20 Mark IVs, we now have HFT, which is a new thing. Uh, we've also got a high pressure platen, which we were the first in Scotland to get, and second in the UK alone, and that comes from Arno. Uh, so basically the platen tools have, uh, on the inserts, a coolant right through it. And then it just it limits all the swarf and you can do bigger unmanned runs on worse material. Specifically copper, your UNSs, it runs absolutely brilliant with it. So it's because of all this advanced technology that we can now rely on these star machines completely. It could be during the day, during the night, it doesn't matter. We can trust them reliably, 100%.